Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons. I'm Emma and today I want to talk about how I am sort of falling in love with miniatures painting all over again. And that's not to say that I haven't liked miniatures painting for the last couple of years, but I think somewhere along the way I kind of lost um, I kind of lost sight of why I started in the hobby in the first place. I started in the hobby about three years ago and my whole motivation at that time was actually just painting the minis. I walked into a friendly local game store and was told about Age of Sigmar and I looked at the Seraphon, or to those of you who don't like Age of Sigmar, the Lizardmen. And I thought they looked awesome and so cool and the Carnosaur was just a great, great model. So I bought the Start Collecting box and I started painting them and I had so much fun. I kind of considered maybe at some point trying to play the game, but painting was definitely my main motivation. Then I started playing and had a lot of fun and the hobby became sort of like painting and playing for a while. And the more I played and the more I painted and the more I really got into the hobby and started watching YouTube videos and uh, started debating on Facebook groups and so on, the less I actually enjoyed painting. And that's not because no one had said anything nasty or not nice to me about my painting style. And it's not like I had less tools or anything. Um, Quite the contrary, I got more and more tools and better brushes and I learned about more techniques and methods and all sorts of things. But I just enjoyed painting less and less until I got to the point where I was only painting to play. And I've said this many times in my videos before, for those of you who have uh, have watched other videos of mine, that I have, uh, I'm painting to play. So it's, uh, it's okay if uh, it's not quite perfect. I, it needs to look good on the tabletop, but I don't... Uh, I don't particularly uh, need to have awesome looking models. They just need to look nice on the tabletop. But then within the last uh, month or two, I have started slowly to realize, and I only consciously realized it like yesterday actually, that that's not quite the case anymore. I'm actually starting to enjoy painting for its own sake again. And I think it has something to do with this uh, new method, at least, at least it's a new method of painting or new technique of painting for me with the cross hatching I'm doing. Um, it's the new method for me and I'm just enjoying it so much. And I also think it's, uh, it's more, well, this, this sounds a little bit strange perhaps, but it's more authentically me, uh, that style of painting with a lot of bright colors and just uh, impossible paint paint schemes and, and color schemes and so on. Something that just looks uh, over the top and weird and fancy and uh, definitely not realistic. It's much more of a, um, a comic book style uh, thing. And I have so much fun painting like that. And I think one of the things that uh, perhaps slowly drained my joy of painting uh, was that I, tr I thought that I had to paint like everyone else. I looked at the best painters both on online and uh, in my local gaming clubs and, uh, and I just looked at how they painted and they were doing these awesome paint jobs in more like a grimdark style, you know, and you have object source lightning and you have um, non-metallic metal and you have very, very smooth um, blending and stuff like that. And I looked at it and I thought it looks great but I'm never ever going to be wanting to spend the amount of time that they have spent on achieving a paint job like that. And so I thought, well, perhaps I'm just uh, not the kind of person who paints to a very high standard. I'm more like the kind of person who paints a decent tabletop standard. And that's fine. I mean, and, and, and still think that's fine. If that's, uh, if that's your motivation, then that's awesome. Go for it. But now that I have uh, discovered my uh, cross-hatching technique and these uh, very, very uh, bright colors I'm using, um, and, and comment I often get on my paint schemes recently is, uh, oh, my eyes are hurting. So I know it's not to everyone's taste and, and that's completely fine as well. But as soon as I started doing this, I rediscovered a lot of joy about painting because this feels like something that I can do 
And I've also discovered that I don't mind spending 50, 60, 70, 80 hours painting a single model. And uh, I kind of have to uh, admit that spending 60 hours painting a Death Dread, that's not, not just painting for playing. That's also painting for the sake of painting and for the sake of achieving a specific, um, a specific paint job and a specific standard of painting. So I've uh, perhaps been not lying to myself, but not quite realizing what uh, what was going on. I, I hadn't, I, I had uh, forgotten how much I actually love painting because I lost track of it while trying to paint the same way that everyone else is painting. And that's not to say there is anything wrong with Grimdark or Optic Source Lightning or uh, non-metallic metal or wet blending or anything along those lines. It looks awesome and i kind of wish that i could uh, that i could paint like that and find joy in that but it just wasn't fun for me i wasn't having fun trying to to paint a little bit like that and then i tried to do something sort of in between and that wasn't a lot of fun either and then i just uh, sort of um, thought well okay i'm just uh, gonna paint to play then that's fine but uh, now that I'm using these uh, very uh, almost like violent colors here with the pink and the green and the orange, I'm having so much more fun. And uh, I think um, what I'm trying to say with this video, I know it's a little bit rambly, is that if you are not having fun painting the way you're painting, perhaps you are not having fun, not because you don't, not because you couldn't enjoy painting really, but because you are painting the wrong models or you are painting a way that's not uh, that's not fun for you. Um, we don't have to pay the same all of us. I mean, at the end of the day, we are painting plastic toy soldiers, so we can paint them any way we want. So if you've always dreamt of painting, uh, painting them, you know, shocking pink or with flowers all over their armor plates, do it, go for it. It's your, it's your toy soldiers. And if you have fun doing it, do it go for it so that's um yeah so so i i really started to realize that i'm falling in love with the i'm falling in love with miniatures painting all over again and it's got everything to do with choosing a painting style and technique that's actually my own and not trying to emulate someone else's paint job it i was always going to be just a bland copy of someone else and that was just so boring and so uninspiring but doing the things that i think i am reason reasonably good at and uh, just uh, not trying to be something i'm not i'm not trying to paint in a color in a way that's not uh, i'm not trying to paint in a way that's not really for me i'm having so much fun and i'm falling in love with painting all over again so perhaps here on this channel i will sometimes not be saying that i'm painting to play sometimes i'll probably just be painting to paint i will also still have some models that i'm painting actually to play i mean i'm not going to be spending 10 hours on a single orc boy i don't see that happening ever um but perhaps i will also paint uh, some some models for i don't know perhaps even a painting competition at some point uh that might be fun i've done that a little bit in the past when i was completely new in the hobby and i was still really having fun with painting and then i just um yeah as i said fell out of love with painting for competition or for uh or with the aim of uh, achieving a high painting standard so uh but now that i'm um, now that i'm uh, rediscovering the joy of painting perhaps i'll uh, go that route at some point I don't know if a shocking pink cross hatching <laughs> will ever do very well at a painting competition, but that's fine. I mean, I, I think it's a, it, it would still be a model that I would be really, really proud of displaying. So, uh, and, and that's, I guess that's what really matters. So I hope this was uh, some way, somehow useful to you. And if you have any thoughts or any comments about this topic, do you love painting? Why do you love painting? Have you fell out of love with painting or have you rediscovered the joy of painting? Then uh, please let me know in the comment section below and I would love to have a discussion about this because it's one of these things that I see all the time. A lot of people buy tons and tons of model and they have the best intentions. They want to build them, they want to paint them and they want to put them on the tabletop and play, play with them. And then somewhere along the way, they just 
lose the motivation and those beautiful models that they have uh, bought are just lying somewhere in a cupboard and never see the light of day. And that's just, a, I mean, if, if you want to do that and you're fine with it, then that's awesome. It's your models. Just leave them there. But if you feel a bit of, uh, if, if, it, if they're there just because you, if they're there just because you sort of um, lost motivation along the way and you actually want to regain the motivation, let's have a discussion. Let's see if we can help each other out and find ways of getting back into the painting and the hobbying and having fun with it and enjoying it and not seeing painting as a chore because that's the last thing your hobby should be, let's be honest. So I hope you'll join me in a discussion in the comment section below. And if you want to show off your models any way they're painted, if they're painted to grimdark or flower power, let's see them on the Dyson Demon showroom. And I will leave a link to that in the comment section below as well. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I hope you will consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. So thank you so much. Bye.